is Bill Miller, and I am delighted to be co-teaching this class with Marisa Alviar Agnew, who will be splitting the lab work with me. I will be doing the lecture work. And uh, this video is a welcome video to get you uh, into the class, hopefully excited about the class. I know I'm excited. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to take you through the, uh, some parts of the Canvas shell and tell you how the class runs. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm in student view, as you can see here, and that will, uh, should be exactly what you're going to see. And this is the welcome page. So uh, when you open up the Chem 300 Canvas shell, this is what you should see. And um, first off, uh, this is Chem 300. The lecture and lab are 100% online and asynchronous. Um, and what that means is that you should uh, expect to spend approximately three hours doing what we'll call the lecture work and three hours of doing the lab work each week as part of your class time. And then beyond that, you should expect to spend nine hours a week outside of class doing homework, doing lab reports, studying for exams, uh, re going, re watching some of the lecture videos if you like. Uh, and so nine plus six, that's 15 hours per week. Uh, and this is, is built to be just like a face to face class in that, and it is, um, it is significant work. It is, in my opinion, totally doable and you can do it. And uh, me and Professor Alvier Agnew are here to help you get through it and answer all of your questions. And uh, if you have any questions about the material or any questions about what's due or what you need to do for a certain due date, please just let us know, let me know, and we will take care of that. We will help you. Uh, we are getting paid to help you and we take that job very seriously. Now, uh, here's my name, Bill Miller. Uh, I do have an office, um, but since this semester is entirely online, we're going to, you're going to see that all of my office hours are on Zoom. And you can click on these links and it will take you to the Zoom link. Uh, and this just means Pacific time, 4 to 6 p.m. Mondays, then Wednesdays and Thursdays as well. Uh, please try and save some or all of that time for any help that you need. Um, oh, and I did forget to mention one thing, which is, this is Chemistry 300. As I said, it's 15 hours a week. It's a big class. It is meant to prepare you for Chem 400. Uh, if you're looking for a class that is a general ed that satisfies the general education requirements, um, that is perhaps more fun um, uh, and definitely covers uh, more topics that are much more relatable to life uh, and very interesting, please take Chem 330, Adventures in Chemistry. Um, now, uh, as far as required materials, you've got a lecture um, text that's available online, and uh, it's free. Um, and then you've got required lab materials, um, and then we'll get to that in a few minutes. But please start reading all of this information during week zero. Uh, it looks like I need to fix a link there for my UndocuAli logo. Uh, but please read all these parts before the semester begins. Uh, if you can, and if not, just as soon as you can. It has a lot of good information in there, uh, especially the ones in bold. Now let's go ahead and go over to uh, modules. <coughs> in modules, again, you'll see week zero. That's where we are right now on Sunday, August 21st, with a lot of information to read over to prep you, uh, including how not to cheat in Chem 300. Uh, lots of information there. The uh, summary would be do your own work and no matter where you find something, put it in your own words. If I find two students with identical work, if I find your work matches something that can be found online, whether it's Googling it or uh, I know one of the popular sites is Chegg um, or uh, Course Hero, uh, which I do check regularly. If I find your work matching identically that or um, yes, this is so identically, um, I will give you a zero for the entire assignment, whatever that assignment is. So at the same time, I encourage you to look for sources, to work together. That's fine. Put it in your own words. Think about it yourself. Do the calculations yourself. Have your own number. 
of uh, significant figures or digits um, make it look different than everybody else, and it always will. All right. Um, syllabus. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, syllabus has all the information about the class. I'm going to take a few minutes and go over the Chem 300 required lab materials. That includes a Chem 300 online lab materials kit, which has all of these things, but does not have one foot of magnesium ribbon. Um, oh, but it does have the diffraction grating. So, uh, and that should be in a plastic bag, but it won't have the magnesium. It has a ruler, some other stuff too that we'll use. Um, you'll need goggles with indirect venting, and here's one example. Um, you'll need a plastic or glass labware kit, and here's one example with a picture of what you can get of that. You'll need a jeweler's scale, and you'll need some color flame candles, a 12 pack. Um, and of course, safety goggles are to be uh, used whenever chemicals are used in the laboratory, even if that laboratory is at your house. Now, um, some uh, Chem 300 uh, frequently asked questions and information about study groups. Again, all of this stuff, I would just page through it, read it all. Let me know if you have any questions. And then you get to the week one materials. Week one starts, uh, as far as we go, on August 23rd and goes, which is a Tuesday. You'll see that in, you have a week one introduction. Um, which is just a page that you have to look at. There's no uh, points associated with it. Then on August 24th, you have a lecture outline one due. For lecture outline one, you'll go ahead and as it says, it's an incomplete set of notes. The handout is right here. You'll download that, print it out, and then as you watch these videos, you'll, uh, which are clickable, um, uh, you'll be able to uh, take notes. I will say this, there are several places where uh, even, so I don't write anything down on the pages, but I do ask you to write something down uh, using my voice. So make sure you watch all of the videos in detail and take all of the notes. Um, and then there will be at least one lecture outline video essentially every week of the semester and uh, they'll be worth uh, points and those are points that you can get just by completing the task so those are uh, straightforward points i would call them then um, you have to sign a lab waiver yeah which is oh which should be worth points i'll go back in and change that too uh, you have to show me your math prerequisite for this class uh, and then you have to watch a chemistry video and tell me a little bit about yourself uh, this week and um, really, there's not much of a lab during week one, and so uh, you get a couple a uh, side activities to do as well as sort of the lab. Uh, you do have to do a lab safety quiz with some lab safety information right before it, and then you have the homework. And the homework, you'll see, note that the lecture outline is due on the 24th, but the homework is not due until the 28th. Please do not leave your homework till the 28th. It does take a long time to do, um, and it is based on the lecture outline. So uh, I would say watch the lecture outline, start on some of the homework, have your lecture outlines ready uh, next to you while you do your homework, and you should see that they're pretty closely keyed to each other. And then, oh, one other thing I forgot. So the periodic table conversions and equations uh, this is also very handy to have while you just sitting next to you. And you'll see during the lecture outlines and during office hours that I always have it sitting right over here so that I can bring them up, access my periodic table, access uh, any equations or conversions that I need um, as I work through the class. And that those uh, conversions, equations, and periodic table are uh, essentially identical to the ones you'll see in Chem 400. And so... Again, all of this class is getting ready for Chem 400, and uh, you'll see that it just it very much builds on itself. So you're doing the homework. Uh, again, start it. Do three to four problems, maybe five problems per day. And then on the 29th, which is the last day of the week, there's a quiz. And straight up, I'll tell you what's on the quiz. It's some of the homework questions. And, uh, oh, I should mention that all of the homework questions are pool-based. That means 
that if you go to homework 01-05 scientific method, that there will be between five and 10, if not more, versions of the same question. Uh, for almost all of them, there's a couple that are just one question. Um, and you'll, so do your homework together, form a study group, do your homework together, help each other on the homework, and then put everything in your own words. Um, now, let's see. Oh, what are the, so this one, homework uh, 01-05, is about the scientific method. MC stands for multiple choice. Let's see, we've got a bunch of multiple choice to start. Then we've got some FILs. Those are file uploads. That means, uh, and that's uh, one of the ways in which I get to see your work. So you'll solve this problem. You'll uh, scan it in, probably with your phone, and then upload it for your answer. And that's called a file upload. And I do need you to upload PDFs because I can mark on PDFs. And if there's any points to take off, I'll have some marks on them. And you can see what you need to fix or why you miss points. Uh, we also have a Fib Plus, um, which is fill in the blank plus. It just means there's more than one fill in the blank. Um, and Fib, just by itself, is just one fill in the blank. And then we have number, or the NUM. That means that you have to give a numerical answer. Um, so, and what we'll do is, so on the quiz, you may only have three or four questions, but they might combine two or three of these homework questions into one quiz question. So most of the homework is on the quiz. And the quiz is only 10 points. It's a very useful check-in. Um, oh, a couple other things about the homework. Home, each homework question, you get four attempts. So do one attempt. See if you get it. You know, have your lecture outline out. See if you can get it. If not, maybe if you feel pretty good, try a second one. If you don't, if you feel lost, come to office hours and we'll work through the questions together. And how I do my office hours is if you're the only one there, you have my full attention. If there's more than one person there, then you'll do a question, then the next person will do a question, and the next person will do a question, and we all rotate through and take turns. So there will be students from your class, maybe multiple students, uh, and all my office hours are open to all of my students, including Chem 400. And so, um, and I also teach the science of coffee. So um, it's, a, it's a mix um, and there is some overlap, but sometimes, you, you know, while I help you, then you can finish solving the question while I help somebody else. Um, and hopefully it works pretty well. Now, uh, oh, and then repeat. Week two, there's an introduction you just have to look at. There's a lecture outline. Uh, there is starting the, the, a lab and uh, you have two kinds of labs. You have lab workshops and lab experiments. Workshops um, are going to be where you work through a set of problems with videos uh, to help you do them. And uh, you submit your work. Your work must be detailed so that we can see everything that you're doing. Um, and because a lot of the points are associated with turning in the work itself. Um, so make sure you're prepared to turn in your work and make sure you show your work. Then you'll see there's a homework. Um, there's this time, oh, it's a long homework again, 18 questions. <coughs> and in the beginning, a lot of the questions are smaller. Um, some of the questions, you know, sometimes later in the semester, you'll get fewer, but harder or more detailed questions anyway. We have a couple other features here. It looks like some of them were fixed for fall 22. Um, some of them have tutorial videos. So you'll get a question and then I will do a question that's similar in a video so you can see it. Um, we have numbers, we have fill in the blanks, numerical answers. Uh, oh, we have asterisks. Asterisks mean that um, even though you fill in the blank for this one, asterisk means you have to show work and turn in that work uh, yeah, as well. So uh, the fibs, the nums, um, and the fib pluses all grade immediately. So you'll see whether you got it right or wrong. However, I still want to see your work for those questions and you still have to turn it in for uh, homework O2 PDF of your work. And yeah, I can actually see we do a, a number of tutorial videos here. So hopefully those will be helpful to you. And again, you can see the subjects of what you're doing and the homework is keyed to the lecture outline 
And so watch your lecture outline first. And then, oh, yep, there's a quiz on week two. There are quizzes in most weeks, um, except exam weeks. And there are a couple weeks where I just give you a week off from the quiz. I give myself a week off from the quiz too. <laughs> uh, but then, so uh, very much, we try and get you into a rhythm. Um, you get, I think, four attempts on the quizzes as well. You also get all the way down here in week three, four attempts on the exam as well. Each attempt on the quiz, each attempt on the homework, each attempt on the exam. You get um, different questions, right? Because they're all pool based. But what I've seen in the past from doing it this way is you feel like you're ready for the exam. Most students are. They take it. They do well, right? Because they've been doing the homework all along. The exams and the quizzes are based on the homework questions. Uh, the only difference is the homework questions are not timed. The quizzes and exams are timed. But again, you get four attempts at each of them. And then, so some students, they take the exam once, they take the quiz once, they're done. They're happy with their score. Some people are not. They do a little bit more studying. They see the questions that they missed because you will see all of the answers. And um, then you can take it again. And you can improve because for each of the homeworks, quizzes, and exams, it's only your highest grade that counts. So, um, so you get four attempts. Um, you do see that for exam one, uh, you do have to turn in a PDF of your work. You don't have to do that for the quizzes, uh, as far as I remember uh, from the last time I taught this course. So, but you do have to turn in. And what I'll do is I'll go through your exam. I will check one or two questions uh, to see that the PDF of your work matches not only the correct answer, but also the other work that you've been doing in the class. And that's so that I can tell that you're doing your work, at least one of the checks that you're doing it for each class. Um, and then it repeats. And the exams, so if you take an exam once and you, you can come ask questions about it in office hours if you missed a question, fair game. Quizzes, fair game, homeworks. Um, so the main difference between homeworks and exams and quizzes is the exams and quizzes are timed. If you get extra time um, through DSPS, uh, some of you have already let me know, please let me know. Uh, and that's, a, um, that's totally fine. I can totally program it in so you'll have that time. All right, and then it continues. I am here for you. Professor Alvier Agnew is here for you. And uh, we will get through this course together. Maybe we'll even have some fun. We'll see. And you'll be prepared for Chem 400 and you'll be moving on to bigger and better things, moving towards your career goals, which I am very excited to hear about in learning a little more. Oh, where is it? Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself up here. Any questions? Just get in touch.